Hi, today we are looking at section 2.3, which is angle properties in triangles. So we'll look at some definitions of some different triangles, and then we'll look at what our total measurement of angles in a triangle is and utilize that to help solve some problems. So types of triangles, first one is a right angle triangle. So right angle triangle is any triangle that has a 90 degree angle. Usually that's denoted by the square in the corner. Now, right angle triangles are ones that we can use Pythagoras and basic trig with. Next, we have an acute triangle. With acute triangle, all angles are less than 90. So this angle is less than 90 degrees, this angle is less than 90 degrees, and this angle is less than 90 degrees. Now, if there's no overlap between this and our right angle triangle, because we are less than 90 degrees, where right angle triangle, we have one angle that is exactly 90. And then we have obtuse triangles which is a triangle that has an angle that is greater than 90. So here we can see that this angle is larger than 90, so it is obtuse. Now, if we have an angle greater than 90, automatically no other angles can be 90. So therefore, once again, that does not overlap with other triangles. Okay, so triangle properties. So Congruent triangles are identical triangles with the same side lengths and angles. So if you're asked if two triangles are congruent, you're checking to see if they have the exact same angles and exact same side lengths. Now, the key thing to this section is this point here. Angles in a triangle add to 180 degrees. So we'll do some examples utilizing that and our previous learning. So determine the unknown angles. So we want to find angle X, angle Y. Now angle X, we can use that property that we just had. So we know all three angles have to add up to 180. However, we only have one other angle, so we can't solve for it yet. So what we'll do is utilize that angles on a straight line add up to 180 first. So we'll figure out what angle Y is. So we know 180 degrees is going to be angle Y plus 135 degrees, because once again, we're on a straight line, so it must add up to 180. We'll move 135 to the other side by subtracting it. And that gives us 45 degrees is equal to angle Y. So we know that this is 45. Now, because all three angles in a triangle must add up to 180, we can say that 180 is equal to at angle X plus angle 20 degrees and this angle of 45 degrees. So I'd subtract 20 degrees and 45 degrees from both sides. And that gives us 115 degrees is equal to angle X. Okay, so we have solved for all unknown angles. Okay, next we want to find the unknown angle. So we want to solve for angle X. We'll once again use our property of triangle, so we know that all three angles here add to 180, but we don't have this one yet. So we have to solve for that before we can get to this. Now, if you're ever unsure what to start with, just look for anything that you can solve and then work from there, finding anything else that you can solve, and eventually you will get to your variable. So in this triangle, we have 
two of a free angle. So we'll start by solving for this. So we don't have it labeled. So let's just give it a label like angle A. So we know that 180 degrees is going to equal 60 degrees plus 65 degrees plus angle A. So I would subtract 60 degrees from both sides as well as 65 degrees from both sides. And that gives us 55 degrees is equal to angle A. Now, because these are on a straight line, these three angles here, they must add up to 180. So let's just call this angle B. So we know that 180 degrees is equal to 55 degrees plus 50 degrees plus angle B. So I'd subtract 55 degrees from both sides, subtract 50 from both sides, And that gives us 75 degrees is equal to angle B. Okay, so now we're on to this last triangle. So we can solve for X now because we'll use properties of a triangle. So 180 degrees is equal to our 75 degrees minus our, or sorry, plus our 35 degrees plus angle X. So we'd subtract 75 from both sides subtract 35 from both sides. And that gives us 70 degrees. So our angle X is 70 degrees. Okay, so one last example. We're gonna find our unknown angle. So we're gonna find this one here. Now, look at, we don't actually have our angle here, but we also don't have any angles in this triangle to start solving for that. So, we'll start solving for whatever we can. So for example, we know here's a straight line. So those two angles must have to add up to 180. So I'll call that angle A. So if 180 degrees is equal to angle A plus 155 degrees. So we'll move 155 degrees to the other side by subtracting it. And that gives us 25 degrees is angle A. Now, that only gives us one of these two angles. We need to get both. So I would probably start working on this triangle. So to get this angle here, let's call that angle B. We know that that's a straight line. So 180 is equal to angle B plus 115 degrees. So we'll subtract 115 degrees from both sides. And that gives us 65 degrees is equal to angle B. Now we'll use property of a triangle. So we know that these three angles equal 160. Let's call this angle C. So we have 180 degrees is equal to angle C plus 65 degrees plus 85 degrees. So we will subtract 65 degrees from both sides, subtract 85 from both sides. And that gives us 30 degrees is equal to angle C. So we have 30 degrees here. Okay, so we have two of these three angles. We can solve for this next one. Next, so 
we know those are in a straight line, so therefore they must add up to 180. So we've got 180 degrees is equal to angle D plus 30 degrees plus 90 degrees. So we'll subtract 30 degrees from both sides, subtract 90 degrees from both sides. So that gives us 60 degrees is our angle D. So we know that this is 60 degrees. Now we'll solve for this angle here, we'll call it E. So property of a triangle, we know these angles add up to 180. So we have 180 is equal to angle E plus 60 degrees plus 25 degrees. So we'll subtract 60 degrees and 25 degrees from both sides. And that gives us 95 degrees is equal to angle E. Okay, so we now have a straight line here. So we know that equals 180 degrees. So we can say 180 degrees is equal to angle X, which is what we're solving for off the start plus 95 degrees. So we'll move for 95 degrees to the other side. And that gives us our unknown angle is 85 degrees.